Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jake's Gaming Corner. And in this episode, I just want to talk about a few things that are uh, happening in the gaming community um, that I've just seen today. Um, well, not just today. Well, like in the last week or two. Um, most of it is stuff I just saw today. Uh, some of it is stuff that I've known about for the last few days, maybe up to a week. But uh, the first thing I want to talk about is Nintendo doing a collaboration with uh, Levi Jeans. Um, it's I think it's just in Japan right now, but they're doing a collaboration with Levi, so there's most likely going to be some clothing out there with uh, Nintendo logos like Mario and stuff like that. Maybe Yoshi, maybe Zelda. That would be pretty cool, but... Um, that was just something I wanted to mention. It was just something small. Um, but keeping with the Nintendo collaboration, something I just saw today, um, Nintendo is doing a collaboration with Lego. And that is honestly something that could be pretty cool if they do it the right way. Because um, Lego has their own games, as everybody knows about. Lego does their Batman Lego games and stuff like that. And I've heard people talking about already uh, maybe just like Lego doing... Nintendo characters instead of like Amiibos you would get the Lego and you would build it and you would have your Nintendo figure maybe like Mario, Luigi, uh, Princess Peach, maybe Yoshi and Zelda that would be really cool um, but one thing that I was thinking about maybe they would do is a uh, Lego Super Mario game or like maybe a Lego Zelda game Legend of Zelda game because that would be pretty cool because if you've played any of the Lego games then you know they're pretty well made and, I mean, it's just a kind of a cool idea that they're uh, collaborating for right now. I think the only thing that maybe people are confirming is that they're going to be doing Lego, little Nintendo Legos. But if they do a Lego Nintendo game, that would be pretty awesome. Um, and moving right along here, uh, the other thing I want, another thing I want to talk about is uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. There may be a new Tony Hawk Pro Skater game coming this year, which would be awesome. Uh, somebody, I can't remember the band name. I think it was like the Death Set or the Death Something, uh, tweeted uh, that they just licensed five of their songs to the new Tony Hawk Pro Skater game. Uh, it's going to be coming out in 2020. So that's the only thing we've <clears throat> heard about it. Um, other than Tony Hawk himself has said that he would be interested in doing another game, but that's up to Activision. So maybe Activision is in the works of coming out with another Tony Hawk Pro Skater game. That would be really cool. Um, hopefully it's not just a mobile game, like because that's the trend here lately, are mobile games like they did the Mario Kart Tour. Um, N Nintendo did that. So And there are just a few other of like these console IP games getting turned into mobile games and like everybody knows about the metal gear thing how they remade the first cut scene for metal gear and turned it into a pachinko machine or they just used it for that essentially a slot machine uh konami did that so maybe it would be a mobile game um i'm really hoping it's not because another tony hawk pro skater would be kind of awesome i haven't played five i played up until four i played a little bit of underground um, and I think that's pretty much it because I tried to stay away from them after that because I know they just went downhill from what I heard from people. Um, I just kind of played skate after Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. I played a little bit underground, but after 4, and 4 wasn't even all that great. I think the, to me, the Tony Hawk Pro Skater was at its prime when they did 1, 2, and 3. Those were the best skating games, I think, still to this day. I mean, yeah, skate and skate... Two and three are pretty, I mean, legit skating games, but the Tony Hawk Pro Skater was more of like an arcade style skate game. So you got to do as many tricks, like it was just try to get all these tricks in and land the move and rack up the points. Whereas skate was more of a uh, more realistic, like simulation skate game. So that would be interesting if they do end up coming out with another Tony Hawk Pro Skater this year. Um, so be looking forward to that. And we are officially nine days away from Doom Eternal coming out. So be ready for that. This channel is going to be uh, turning into a Doom, Doom Eternal channel for a little bit. I'm going to be doing 
walkthroughs, uh, let's plays, um, just any Doom. Oh, I keep hitting my mic. Sorry. Just any Doom Eternal content that I can think about or think of or anything that you guys want to see, let me know, and I'll try to do that as well. But just be looking forward to that. If you are interested in Doom Eternal and you're going to be playing it as well, picking it up on release day, definitely come check it out, and maybe we can figure some stuff out together. If anybody gets stuck, let me know. If I get stuck, I'll definitely reach out and see if anybody could give me a hand. So... Um, definitely be looking forward to that, and I think that's going to wrap it up for there. Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to mention. I will be doing a video here shortly of my uh, top five um, female-led games, like because uh, it's National Women or International Women's History Month. So I will be doing a video with my top five uh, favorite female video game characters. So be looking out for that. And thanks for stopping by Jake's Gaming Corner, and we'll see you in the next one.